Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And of course, I don't know if it's necessarily breaking news. It's at least a day old, though. Two F-16s and one F-35 from Ukraine airspace simulated an attack on Russia, according to the uh, CONTW.WS uh, report here. Again, the backdrop, uh, let's see, it says here that two F-16s and one F-35, the plane simulated missile attacks from the territory of Nikolov region on Russia, Crimea, and Russian Black Sea Fleet. In addition, in practicing strikes against Russia, the F-35s tried to track location of Russian radar. The entire provocation operation lasted an insane 32 minutes after which the border violators calmly left Ukraine airspace. We've already written that the American fighters will be based in Romania. A feature of the F-16 is uh, capriciousness. The runaway must be perfectly level. There are no such people uh, in Ukraine, or actually no such places inside of Ukraine. This is translated from Russian into the English language there. Russia was already stating in other articles the day before this incident here that uh, Ukraine would have a very difficult time having a place to put their F-16s because they're going to bomb all the runways and targets inside of there. But this very issue here only goes to show that uh, they could very easily um, attack from another area, especially, in fact, in light of the news here, Germany preparing for war with Russia, according to Medvedev, after listening to that leaked audio there, he, uh, he goes on to say several places in the article, the 38-minute long recorder reportedly from February 19th contained a conversation between four officers of the German Air Force, including its commander, commander Lieutenant General uh, Ingo uh, Gerhardt. They were discussing the operational targeting details of the Taurus long-range missile, missiles, which Berlin was considering supplying to Kiev. The officers uh, particularly explored the option of missiles being used, uh, considering a supply supplying to Kiev, excuse me, uh, against the Crimean bridge, and spoke about maintaining plausible deniability in the event of such an attack. Uh, goes on to say the German Defense Ministry confirmed the authenticity of the recording, but neither the military nor the Chancellor Olaf Scholz government have commented on the plans discussed by the senior. Uh, officers. Uh, according to Medvedev, he says, and I quote, any attempts to present a, a Budenwar officer's conversation is just a game with missiles and tanks would be a malicious lie. The former president warned Germany is preparing for a war with Russia. And uh, that uh, goes needless to say, right? Also to it, and this was an interesting article that came out of Great Britain here, uh, MP Healy, Britain is too weak for war with Russia. Uh, stated here that our greatest weakness is the state of our military and the system that is not equipped to deter, Hill said. Uh, he also recalled that Great Britain does not have the largest number of troops, so it can start a war with Russia. The MP also admitted that the UK defense begins in Ukraine. Uh, seems like everybody's trying to make Ukraine the front line for everything. Turning towards Israel, very sad photo here indeed. Israeli female soldiers pose for a photo on a position on the Gaza Strip border in southern Israel on Monday, February 19, 2024, uh, showing all the devastation. And then somebody posted this video right here on Twitter. This is very uh, disturbing if you look at this. Now watch right here. This is a satellite view. This is the building's intact beforehand. If you watch the time lapse of this photography here, you will see exactly the devastation that Israel has caused to the people of Gaza. Watch as the buildings just disappear, flattened, ruined, rubble. All the streets become totally exposed, and the buildings in the entire city totally, nearly, completely leveled to the ground. One more time. Let's look at that again there. Notice it goes brown. You begin to see the desert floor, so to speak, you know, as everything is totally destroyed in that one particular area there of Gaza. Northern Gaza, I believe, is where that's at. What a crime against humanity, no doubt. Uh, this here was very interesting. Uh, thank you, Charles, for sending me this uh, particular uh, video footage here. Uh, and, and let me just kill the audio there because the guy's got some pretty colorful language there. Uh, but as he's at a storm there, he catches a laser going off. Watch this. Look at that. What the f is that, dude? See there? Watch it again. Here we go. What the f 
What kind of laser was that? Is exactly right. It's not only the only words he used there, but that's, uh, that's okay. Britain's first astronaut makes shocking claim aliens are on Earth among us. This is the uh, girl uh, uh, astronaut back when she was 27 years old when she first went into space. The first Briton that ever go, went into space, not just the first woman ever. But uh, she said that aliens definitely exist and it is possible they are living among us on Earth, but have gone undetected so far. They're not totally undetected, and yes, they do live on Earth, and yes, we're very much uh, working with governments as well. Sherman uh, added that it's possible they're here right now, and we simply can't see them. Now, that was a very provocative statement she said there. She was, of course, back in 1992, the first Briton to ever enter into space, uh, at least from what we've been told there. Okay, also, we'll have to admit, hide it. Let's see, the media revealed that Russia has prepared F-16s in Ukraine. Hide it. The media revealed that Russia has prepared F-16s in Ukraine. No, it's not. Uh, uh, that's just the way it translates. So I apologize. Uh, getting planes, uh, and we already talked about this, getting planes into the air would be very difficult. Bases would become the main target of Russian bombing. The fighters themselves would be target of Russian air defense systems. Their repair will be a problem, and even the use of unprepared runways can damage the fragile aircraft. The material says journalists uh, also know the Ukrainians will have to learn to hide planes from Russian radars and satellite. That's not going to be very easy moving those planes in there like that. And I've often wondered about that myself. So I really think that that's only a, a deterrent. If you put some F-16s over there, Ukrainians can get them up into the air while NATO forces sneak some in across the border from Romania and other countries, Poland, etc., so I do believe that things are going to escalate very quickly, very quickly and very rapidly, to say the very least. Uh, this article here, also a Russian article, the U.S. is harming relations between Russia and Israel not to please Ukraine. And of course, Israel uh, is talking about actually sending more as soon as their war is over between Lebanon and uh, Gaza. They're planning on fully arming Ukraine as much as possible. I have to see how that goes. That'll be interesting. Uh, but nonetheless, no doubt they both work together regardless, so I'm sure they all are very well aware of what's going on. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for watching, and tonight, for those of you that are uh, with us on LifeWave, and if you're not, if you're interested, you'd like to know more about the products of LifeWave and the amazing, we're actually going to be playing a compilation testimonial tonight uh, from people that have, that have shared their testimonies with us. Absolutely amazing and astounding information. Join us tonight, x39hub.com. That's x39hub.com. Uh, you can join us there. We have room for a lot of people, up to 500 people can join in a Zoom meeting. Be glad to have you. And don't forget, too, this coming Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, Stephen Benun, B-E-N-N-U-N.com. Uh, we'll be going into something interesting, more of a biblical nature. We had a very interesting insights on praying for faith and healing just recently. And by the way, if you did email me uh, after that meeting there, I apologize. I did not have that particular email I gave you in my phone. Uh, and I've been having some issues on getting some logins there, but I will definitely try to find out where uh, we, you guys are going to email me at so that I can look at those individual needs. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.